Hey, what up, everybody? It is your boy, BQ. I mentioned in the past about a couple new podcasts coming to the Impact Lounge and the Impact Lounge Network. So you can kind of view this one as a pilot for Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin. So in this episode, he's talking a little bit about explosion, a little bit about some other things, but it's just kind of a little teaser sampler episode wherever you get your podcast make sure you are subscribing and of course here at the impact lounge youtube channel and the impact lounge podcast network is another channel that we're trying to get started we got to get that up to about 300 subscribers before i start really putting anything on there but without further ado check out the podcast thanks for listening as always oh and quick caveat this was recorded on christmas day so it's about a month old so just keep that in mind when you're checking out the podcast all right here we go Hey folks, Lewis here with the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Hope all is well. It's Christmas Day. I'm home alone. Uh, The family is away. Unfortunately, I was not able to go with them, so I'm home alone here on Christmas Day. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's let's do a little podcast. Uh, Let's record some stuff. I uh, actually got a few things on my mind. I want to talk about Impact Wrestling, um, mainly Impact Wrestling. Uh, So, um... Let's get into it. Again, Lewis here from the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Uh, Impact Wrestling. They're going to have a huge 2020. Uh, you know, and there's there's no denying it that they're on an upswing right now. And a lot of people, a lot of people are still um, on uh, social media indicating, oh, you know, they're posting, oh, uh, Impact's still a thing, uh, Impact's still around, or or this is why I stopped watching Impact Wrestling, or they still call it TNA. You know, the fact of the matter is, guys, no wrestling promotion is perfect. Not everything Impact Wrestling do does is perfect. Not every... Now, every bit of Impact Wrestling is going to be spot on, five star. Oh, everyone's got to see this segment. No, it's not going to be like that. And that's for every promotion. Have you watched the WWE lately? I tried to watch the WWE. I give a chance every like six months. I'll I'll give it another chance. I'll turn it on, and I always wind up turning it off after about I don't know after about you know. Six minutes. The last, the last, ch- the last chance I gave it, I turned it on, and um, you had uh, I, I can't even remember the guy's name. Uh, he came came out with a ca- with a cage, holding a cage that's covered, and the whole the whole gimmick of him is what's in the cage. You know, it's a little cage, like a bird cage or a rat cage. And it was like, what's in the cage? And the other wrestler was like, oh, I got to find out what's in the cage. And the announcers were like, uh, oh, what's in the cage? What's in the- Who cares what's in the cage? Really, it was terrible. It was horrible. I had to turn it off. I had to turn it off. I, I, the, the face in my, my, I can't remember the guy's name. The face is familiar. I can't remember the, the wrestler's name. But I turned it off. And I, I can't watch the WWE, uh, but um, but as back back to Impact, not every segment, as I said, is going to be perfect. Now, there are some segments on Impact Wrestling that I don't like, but there are there are some segments, a lot of segments that I absolutely love, you know. And for people that are saying that, asking if it's still a thing, or there are people still saying it's going under, it's not going under. Watch the show once in a while. Watch the show once in a while before you uh, before you judge it. Uh, because Impact Wrestling is here to stay. It's going nowhere. And uh, they're doing really well. And um, again, watch the show. Trust me. Trust me. You won't be saying, oh, it's Impact's whole thing once you watch the show. But anyway, there's Impact. There's the Impact main show. And there's there's Impact Explosion, which is kind of the B show. Now, I've always been a critic. Um, a harsh critic, I guess you could say critic, of uh, Impact Explosion. Uh, because they, they, they do show one first run match. And, uh, well, let's, let's go. The, the reason why I'm a harsh critic uh, 
is because I think they could do so much more with Impact Explosion uh, than what they're doing right now. Right now, it's just basically we're going to show one first run match between uh, wrestlers that aren't signed really with Impact Wrestling, like El Reverso, or you'll see some uh, new talent that that's not really officially signed, like Alexi Nicole might be might be on expl- on Explosion. It might get some stars as well. Like, they had a great match. Josh Alexander against Kevin Blackwood, uh, which was fantastic. But uh, they, 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 could, they, they could make Explosion a lot better. And, and here's how I feel they could make Explosion a lot better. You know, they have another hour of TV time. You know, and it, this show is basically over in the UK. It's for the UK market, really, and it's on Impact Plus. Uh, that's what I read anyway. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I read anyway, that it's for, really, for the Impact uh, UK market. Uh, but, um, and you like I said, you get on Impact Plus, but what they could do with this, they have another hour of programming. Uh, instead of just giving us one first-run match, uh, and then give us, like, a, a couple of talking interviews, and, and um, then they have a classic match, you'll scrap that. Scrap that. Give us three or four brand new matches with talent that we haven't seen before. Kind of make it like... Kind of make it make it like um, an, an NXT used to be for the WWE, uh, like a developmental. Like you have people, uh, there, there's so much talent out there, and you could put them on the show, and you can have them, you know, work their way up to the main show. And there could be an Impact Explosion champion, uh, just like there's the NXT champion, and you could really do something good with this show. And I, 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 um, I actually uh, it was about a year and a half ago. I actually brought this up to Don Callis because I was on one of the conference calls and I asked him, you know, do you think that maybe it should be an I, – I thought at the time was maybe you could just make it an X Division show, which is X Division talent. And uh, he didn't like the idea. But uh, but doesn't mean uh, I'm not going to stop talking about it. I, I like the idea. They should, like – again, Impact Explosion have three or four new matches with fresh faces and – an impact explosion champion would work, I think. And um, when somebody uh, is good enough, they uh, will make it to the main roster of Impact Wrestling. I think that's a great idea. I don't know how anybody out there feels about it, but I think that's a great idea. Like, out up here in in Ontario, I'm here in Windsor, Ontario, there's so much talent here that I think can make Explosion a terrific show. Like, you have Kobe Christ, you have Kobe Durst, you have Lil Blay, Junior Benito. Um, out in the, down in the States, you have a guy who is going to be an absolute absolute monster in professional wrestling, Nick Sullivan. He's a suplex machine, and he would be absolutely fantastic for this. Uh, Holden Albright as well. Tag team, Sabotage would be great. Um, Jody Threat. Jody Threat would be fantastic. You could put Alexia Nicole on this show as well. Um, there's another talented wrestler out in the Maritime, Chantel. She would be she would be good for this as well. And of course, El Reverso. El Reverso could be the leader. El Reverso could be the, the face right now of, of Explosion. You could make El Reverso the Impact Explosion champion. And he would defend his title... You know, not not every week, but he would defend his title uh, on the show, say maybe once a month, on the pay per views. Impact Explosion champion defending it against Impact Explosion talent. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think, I th- I think it would do a lot better than the format that they have right now for Impact Explosion. And you could even put it on YouTube. You know, you got AEW Dark, you got NWA Power, which is declining in the ratings. Terribly, by the way, uh, the views are really, really down. But and, <laughs> we're not going to we're not gonna, not even a bad mouth on the NWA. But um, but put it on YouTube. There's three million followers right now on, on Impact Wrestling. Put it on YouTube. You'll see if you can get a million views on it. I think it's a great idea, and I think they should they should implement it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I could just talk about it, and uh, hopefully one day they will um, they will. Uh, they will see that I'm right. <laughs> they will see that I'm right, and they will do that with uh, Impact Wrestling Explosion. Uh, Impact Explosion, I should call it, because, uh, again, there's so much talent out there. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned McCray Martin. McCray Martin is another uh, really good wrestler up here. There's so much talent that you can get on that show and fresh faces you know, and introduce them to the wrestling world. I just They could do... Um, they could do better. They could do better with Impact Explosion. So that's uh, that's my little rant on that. Um, now I want to talk about a partnership. Right now, um, 
they have a partnership with the, the Japanese promotion Pro Wrestling Noah. Uh, the thing is, you don't really see too many Pro Wrestling Noah uh, talents at Impact Wrestling. I mean, you, you'll you'll see um, Naomichi Marafuchi. Uh, you'll see him on occasion, but you won't really see. You won't really see um, other Noah talent. You haven't seen any other no- Noah talent as well. And I, I know Scott Demore brings Marafuchi uh, to Windsor. They're looking for new talent to bring over to, to Noah. So you, know, you could win a contract for Noah, and they have a little competition out here. Uh, but other than that, you don't see any uh, pro wrestling Noah stars in Impact Wrestling. I'm thinking there's a promotion out there, a well-known promotion that I don't think anybody has a partnership with, which is kind of mind-boggling. It's All Japan Pro Wrestling. I would absolutely love to see Impact Wrestling form a partnership with All Japan Pro Wrestling. I mean, they have so much talent, so much talent in All Japan. You got Kento Miyahara, you got Koji Iromoto, Jake Lee, Zeus, uh, Suchi Ishikawa and Suwama, great, great tag team for All Japan Pro Wrestling. Some young guys, Noyama and Nomura, another really, really good talent in All Japan. Just, I'm just thinking of the matches that they could have, that they could have if they formed the partnership with All Japan Pro Wrestling. Because I have a feeling, I have a feeling that... New Japan Pro Wrestling is going to end their relationship with Ring of Honor and they're going to form a partnership with AEW. That's my gut feeling. And if that happens, Ring of Honor, they're not dumb. I think they're going to jump on and uh, form a partnership with All Japan Pro Wrestling. So I'm saying Impact Wrestling, you got to you got to move fast. You got to move fast cuz this All Japan Pro Wrestling, there's so much talent there. I, I wrote down some matches. Just think of these matches that could take place. Uh, for Impact Wrestling uh, and in All Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, yeah, Kento Miyahara versus Michael Elgin would be absolutely out of this world fantastic. Kento Miyahara, of course, the All Japan Pro Wrestling Triple Crown uh, Heavyweight Champion. That would be absolutely fantastic. Just think Zeus versus Moose. Uh, it rhymes, but I think they would work so well together. It would be a, another hard hitting, tremendous match. Jake Lee versus Brian Cage would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, then you have, you know, the North could uh, defend the, the Impact Tag Team titles against Sushi, Ishikawa, and Suwama. Uh, that would be, my God, that would be an absolutely fantastic tag team. And then I'm also thinking maybe Koji Iwamoto taking on uh, Rich Swan or, or one of the Chris brothers. Uh, would be would be fantastic. So all Japan Pro Wrestling, all Japan Pro Wrestling, they have no working agreement with anybody. You know, and I don't know how strong the working agreement is with Pro Wrestling Noah, but uh, I think I think Impact should really look to all Japan Pro Wrestling because let's face facts, they're not going to get an they're not going to get a working agreement with New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling is not going to go with Impact, um, and it's not because of what happened in the past with Okada. That's 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 ancient history. That's all been forgotten. But um, I, I really think that New Japan Pro Wrestling is going to uh, br- is going to end the relationship with the Ring of Honor, and they're going to go with uh, AEW. <clears throat> that's uh, that's that's my gut feeling. I mean, you have. John Moxley, uh, you yeah, have Chris Jericho still going over to uh, New Japan, working with them, and um, uh, you have um, Hiroshi Tanahashi saying that if he defeats Chris Jericho, he's going to ask for a title shot, an AEW title shot. So uh, there's there's little hints there that there might be a, a working agreement, um, uh, and of course um, Tanahashi uh, taking on Chris Jericho at uh, Wrestle Kingdom. Um, in uh, actually in uh in, in about a week about next week so that that's gonna be a great one uh but still you gotta let's jump on it right now again nobody has a working agreement with all Japan Pro Wrestling I can even see I can even see MLW you know getting involved and, and jumping on that because there's so much talent in all Japan right now and um, sooner or later someone's gonna form a working agreement here in this in the in um, the states or or in Canada. Uh, with all Japan Pro Wrestling, and I hope it's I hope it's impact. Uh, it would only benefit them, and uh, it'll be a great, great move. Uh, what would happen with Pro Wrestling Noah? I don't know, but I think there's more talent right now in All Japan Pro Wrestling uh, than there is in Pro Wrestling Noah. That, that's that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I think um, I think they should jump on it. But um, anyway, on to Shane Taylor. On to Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor is a free agent. Impact Wrestling. Please sign Shane Taylor. This guy is an absolute stud who will be 
nothing but terrific for the promotion. Just thinking of the matches that, that you could have with Shane Taylor. Again, I'm going to say Michael Elgin, Moose, um, Willie Mack. Uh, who else do you have? Uh, I would love to see you know Josh Alexander one-on-one with, um, with Shane Taylor. But uh, yeah, I mean, fantastic, fantastic talent, free agents. Impact Wrestling, my plea to you, sign Shane Taylor. Sign him to a three-year deal. You know, since, uh, <laughs> since you're handing out all these contracts, sign him to a three-year deal. And uh, trust me, it's, it's only going to benefit Impact Wrestling. And uh, I think it'll put more asses in the seats as well if they, uh, if they sign Shane Taylor. And um, and that's it. That's it. Uh, this is uh, this is a short one. This is a short one today. Uh, just um, felt like jumping on and um, giving uh, giving my opinion on a few things that have been on my mind uh, with Impact Wrestling. So that said, I'm gonna say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.